Well, right. speaking of Thug, y'all listen to the album? Whew. Yes. Thoughts? Because I've never been a, <laughs> I've never been a dude that listened to a full Young Thug project, so I didn't, I didn't really Word. listen to it. I skimmed through it, and I was just like, all right. I listened to that. It's a Thug album. I listened to that bitch front to back, mm. three, four times. Wow. Yes. Okay. Talk to me. I like that album. That was a great album. That was better than what I was expecting. I will say, because with Thug being locked up. I feel like when he was out, the, all like all his prior albums, like his his best album to me was um, the last one, Pink, Pink uh, Punk was punk. It called. I, th- I thought it was called Pink Punk, whatever. You you know how I felt about that album. That was a really good album to me. Every every other album leading up to that album, I I've always appreciated Young Thug. You know that T. We've always listened to him, but it's never been to the to the point where I want to listen to a full album for him. This album, I was like, okay, I really fuck with this shit. Like, there's a lot of songs on here that I really like, truly, and I'm gonna keep continuing to go back and listen to. So I liked it. Yeah, I've seen the numbers. Like, uh, it's it's people are saying like Young Thug f- fell off in a sense because like, uh, uh, gonna sold 88k with this new one, and then he had no features on that shit, and he was kind of like not blackball, but the whole thing with him snitching and shit. And then Thug, I know you're not a numbers guy, by the way, but Thug had Drake, Travis Scott, all these heavy hitters. And then, like, he's in jail currently, so people want to hear what he has to say. And he sold about, like, 90K2 or some shit like that. Did you hear about that, Leroy? Mm-hmm. So, I did see that. And I was like... It's interesting. And they were saying he fell off? Yeah, because people were saying he's going to sell 150 because people want to oh, hear what he has to say, and he has heavy hitters, and he sold... The, just a, literally the same amount as Gunner, who mm. low key blackball and no features. Mm. I, I feel like people were more interested in what Gunner had to say, though. True, but still, if you have like Drake, Travis Scott, then like Future was on that, sh- like literally all the heavy hitters, mm-hmm. like your shit should at least go. But besides that, just the music wise, um, bro, I think I think Gunner album a little better, bro. Like that's what I'm hearing. The just the flow, even I, I went into it. I didn't even want to like like it at first because I was so fucking mad at him for fucking dry stitching and shit. <laughs> what, <laughs> nigga? What? <laughs> Straight up, <laughs> we don't fuck with rats, nigga. But uh, I listened to the shit. Nigga, I'm like, that wait was a, a minute. Dry snitch? I was, Apparently, we were already discussed this. That shit was pretty wet, bro. He... <laughs> no, no freaky. If that's nah, dry was... snitching, I don't know what. What do you mean? We already talked about this. Yeah, but he said they asked, "Is is YSL a gang?" And he said, "That's yes, dry snitching, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. That's just I thought that was just snitching. Oh, you're talking about the yeah. different dry snitching is like implicating something. <clears throat> like, like you like, said, I mean, implicating, okay, I was implying a, something. Hey, I was you're getting too like logical. I was, oh, my I was just saying like just snitch. I feel you though. I, feel I thought you. dry snitching was just like implying. That yeah, yeah, yeah I feel you. I feel respect. you. But at the end of the day, it's all snitching. Word, word, word. But um, yo, yeah, but gunner shit, bro. It just like. The production was hard. Like his, he was kind of flowing on that shit, and just kind of it just kind of worked. Like it was like a well put together, just flowed well like album. And then he'll talk about it every now. Like it was a little vibe. And then compared to Thugger, it's just more of like a get the hottest artists. Like Mm. just put a bunch of albums or put put a bunch of songs together, even though they were hard. Don't get me wrong. Some of the bitches were hard, like the one with uh, Travis Scott, shit like that. But as like a well put together just album, even though a lot of gunner shit kind of sound, it, it just kind of like worked, like mm. the flow of it and shit. So would you say that Thug had the more industry album? Yeah, That's like it was. It was marketing industry, yeah, yeah, and yeah, yeah. but we had a we got to think though, like this nigga going through a Rico right now. So there's and the songs are old as fuck. So you mm. got to give him the benefit of the doubt. Like he can't be saying like I'm the biggest line, like just and just mm. like. And it's, it's old So you gotta like Filter that out too So Even though niggas Is probably saying Like it's not the best Like you gotta like Take that into account As well too mm. But yeah that's Those are my opinions Word I feel like those albums Are not comparable though So How it's auto-tune Wait, trap f- You said that in the chat I'm just like yeah, that's, that's You can compare that. They're both on the same label How are they not They're both Atlanta artists And they're from the same label In, the, in that I situation said, that, that, that means nothing In this in the, in the way I'm thinking of it Cap Alright so how are you Thinking of it Because one, literally Gunna has album is completely different vibes in terms of actual like there's no hit songs on there there's no like the melodies are different it's, it's a completely different album the, the substance of it is just completely different Thug's album is like a Thug album that he would generally drop it's like a it's, he's looking for hits on that album you can tell 
Like okay. I can't. I, I'm not gonna compare Cars Bringing Out to fucking Bread and Butter. You know what I mean? And there's no song on that album that's gonna compare to that. It's not the same thing. You still, just talk about which one you like better, which one's better. I completely understand. Yeah, I'm, I'm not saying same type of beats in it. I'm not saying I you can't. I'm not commercial. saying you can't talk about which one you like better, but you re- still have to realize that. Right, no but matter. you're making it seem like it's like J Cole with a little B or some shit. Right, like that. right, right. No, exactly. Not, you're, not, saying, you're acting like, <laughs> you're like it's two. I can't even right. judge it. It's two completely it's, different albums. You can't. Like, no, it's I'm not, not saying you you're can't acting judge like they're not even the same ballpark. <laughs> like they're literally as close as you can get in terms of the the case, the artists that they are. And the type of music that they make. Yes, I understand that. But I'm just talking about the actual music itself. Okay. That's all I'm saying. At the end of the day, they're not comparable albums. So you can't judge it at all. And <laughs> Absolutely, say I can judge it. Anyone, any part. I'll be stupid to say if I can't. I can't judge it. All I'm saying is, is does it, at the end of the day, does it really make sense to judge it? Yes. Yes. 100%. <laughs> Aren't they talking about each other on the album? No. Too? You talking about Wait, the snitching Thug, shit? Thug's not, Thug's not talking about like the case on his shit. He's no, he said one line on there, like kind of about it and shit. So it's not, it's not like they're going back at each other. If that, even that, even that one like, line that makes it we're like, oh, I guess. Right. And they dropped at the same time. You don't think the labels did that on purpose? That still has nothing to do with that. So you're tripping. I'm, right, I'm sorry. You're, I'm calling it. You're All tripping right, bro. on this, bro. <laughs> you're acting <laughs> like it's like Led Zeppelin and fucking like <laughs> Notorious B.I.G. Like let's compare like bars. Like it's. You could talk about it, bro. Okay, listen. This what you like more. Like, if, to, like it's like this. I'll, just this is one example. Go ahead. It's like when Certified Lover Boy and Donda dropped. They were completely different sonically. One yes. was a damn near gospel album, and then Drake put out a Drake album. We were still comparing them, like which one we like more. You know, they're both the biggest artists, and they dropped at the same time. So like, mm-hmm. so this one is they're even closer in uh, comparability because. Facts. Of the case because they're on the same label because Gunna is Dunk Thug's artist, like, and they're mentioning each other. So wait, let me let me rephrase it more. Wh- which one do you just genuinely fuck with more? Um, I probably will say I like uh, Thug's out more. Okay, are there reasons why you like that one better than that one? Yeah, just it's a again that this goes back to the whole point of me saying it's it's a it's an album that has hits on it. I do. I did enjoy Gunna's album, but I find myself going back to Thug's. So you album like more. it more because it has hits on it? Yeah, it's just it's okay. just okay. it's just easier to listen. No, to. That was our question. Yeah. Yeah. Easier so to listen to. Yeah. It's just a mainstream album. It's just a mainstream album. It sounds, Gunna's album is good. Don't get me wrong. I listened to his album. And I was like, this is this it's is good album. Very funny. Is it? So, <laughs> that was my question. <laughs> I'm trying to answer your question, but at the same time, I still gotta give you some details and preface it and let you know, hey, this is the actual way that I think of it because. At the end of the day, I can sit here and say, okay, which one's a better album? But I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, these aren't even really comparable albums, man. So, that's a hot take. That's a fucking hot take.